Let's examine a question that can be solved by applying the fundamental counting principle. Now let's say we have five children, two of which are girls and three of which are boys. We want to know in how many different ways can we seat all five children in a row if the girls must sit on the end chairs. Well, to begin, let's sketch our five chairs here and we'll start listing some possible outcomes. So here's one possible outcome. Notice that the girls are seated on the two outside chairs. Here's another possible outcome and here's another. Now, as we are listing possible outcomes, we should be trying to determine whether or not we can apply the fundamental counting principle to this question. In other words, can we take the task of seating all five children and break it into individual stages? The answer here is yes. We can let one of our stages be seating a child in the first chair. Another stage can be seating a child in the second chair and so on until all five children have been seated. Now, which stage should we begin with? Well, when dealing with questions involving the fundamental counting principle, we should always begin with the most restrictive stage. In this question, we must sit girls in chairs one and five. Since we have only two girls, these are our most restrictive stages. Let's begin by seating a child in chair number one. Since this chair must be occupied by a girl, and we have only two girls, there are two ways in which we can accomplish this stage. Now, once we have seated a child in chair number one, the next most restrictive stage here is seating a child in chair number five, since we must seat a girl in this chair, and we have already seated one of the girls in chair number one. So at this point, we have only one girl remaining, so there is only one way in which we can accomplish the stage of seating a child in chair number five. We have now seated both girls. Let's move on to the boys. Since we must seat the three boys in the three remaining chairs, we can see that each stage is equally restrictive. So it doesn't matter which stage we address next. So let's examine the number of ways we can accomplish the stage of seating a boy in chair number two. Well, at the moment, we have three boys, so there are three ways in which we can accomplish this stage. Once we have seated a boy in chair number two, we have only two boys remaining. So when we move over to chair number three and ask, in how many ways can we accomplish this stage? The answer is two. Finally, we're left with chair number four. We've already seated four children, so only one child remains, so there is only one way in which we can accomplish the stage of seating a child in chair number four. Now that we have determined the number of ways in which we can accomplish each individual stage, we will apply the fundamental counting principle and find the product of these individual stages to get 12. So there are 12 different ways in which we can seat all five children in a row.